Okay, welcome back to part two of our Ionic React tutorial. In part one, we learned how to introduce React, oh, Ionic into a React application. And we just use some of the semantics of any Ionic application. Now in part two, we are adding tabs. And with tabs, we are adding some of the routing logic. Okay, let's get right into this. Now we have this application that has content and ion page, right? And as and I already know that I'm going to have multiple pages because as I just said, I'm going to have some kind of routing, right? So this ion page, I want to just decouple, just move out of this structure and I'm going to cut it. I'll call it bro, but you know, I don't have that component right now. So I'm going to create it. Const bro is a component. I'll just paste this. I'm going to let Prettier take care of formatting. And there we go. Okay, our next step is to add some tabs. Disclaimer, this is going to break. Okay, Ion Tabs is a container for tabs. Tabs are usually buttons. So this is very similar to segment button or to the header, right? And inside Ion Tabs, I need the tab bar, which is kind of the toolbar, and then I'm going to need some buttons. So that's the semantics of it, right? Very similar to Ion Header Toolbar Button, or actually it was title, and very similar to uh, Segment and then Segment Button. For this, I'm also going to need Ion Tab Bar, and inside the Tab Bar, I'm going to have some buttons. Ion Tab butter, uh, Button can have a label. And I'm going to just put Ion Label, and I'm, call, I'm going to call it Bro. Okay, so we have everything we needed. Oh, I need Ion Label. I'm sorry. Ion Label. All right, oh, I'm sorry. React, or I'm sorry, Webpack. Whoa, but now we have our first error. I promise this is going to break, and it just broke. Uh, Ion Tabs, Ion Tabs, must contain an Ion, ion Router Outlet. This is hard. Ion Router Outlet. What is Ion Router Outlet? Just, I'm going to spend a few seconds to, 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 to try to explain this. Um, so we have routing, and we have a routing outlet. Routing outlet is the place inside the application where routes are going to be injected, okay? So this means that I need to set up some basic routing in this application. Ionic has extended React Router, which is kind of the signature routing for React applications. Um, so they have extended, uh, extended React Router to just add a few hooks uh, that can be used with Ionic. So you don't really have to do much. You just have to include Ion Router instead of React Router. But before we do that, we're going to need to add some dependencies. And that's going to be the Ionic Router and React Router, because we need both. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more writing uh, before we can actually see anything on the right hand side, but just stick with it, bear with me. As usual with routing, I want to start by adding the router. Now, as I said, this time I'm adding Ionix uh, router, which is the uh, extended React router. And I'm going to add that as close to the root as possible, right underneath the uh, Ion app. I'm still getting that ugly message because obviously I still don't have Ion router outlet, so I'm going to add that right now. It needs to be right under Ion tabs. And you can totally see that in the error message. Ion tabs must contain an Ion router outlet. The trick is it has to be a direct child of Ion tabs. Ion router outlet. I'm going to press enter so the import is resolved automatically. I'll go up just to confirm that Ion router outlet and actually comes from Ionic core. Let's fill this with something. What? These are going to be routes. So it's very similar to the switch statement in or switch component in React router with one difference. Um, the, the router outlet is not like switch, so it only renders one route. It's going to render uh, all routes, so eventually uh, changes in views are going to be a lot faster. So this is going to render, but it's not going to be displayed on the screen. Okay, this is, this is an important difference between switch and ion router outlet. So I'm going to use React Router's route, actually. So path is going to be uh, just the root, and my component is bro. 
Okay, if bro become, uh, belongs to the route, then I actually need to remove bro from the content. Now bro is going to be injected as part of this route if the path is going to match. I'm gonna add exact so that home is, is exactly in the root of the routing. Okay, I still miss the uh, route import, so I'm gonna add that. As I said, route belongs to React Router from React Router DOM. All right, and now my luck has changed. This is good now, but you know, I'm missing the tabs. <laughs> I don't have any tabs. I actually see exactly why. Ion tab bar misses the position. Tabs could go, you know, to the top or to the bottom, and I'm gonna actually place them to the bottom slot. Slots are kind of placeholders. And there we go, this is brew. This is our brew tab, it's working perfectly. And now I'm gonna add one more uh, tab button because I'm gonna add just plain settings, okay? I'm not gonna add any content into settings. I just want that route to exist in the application. And there we go, we have both. Actually, I want settings, not just setting. And now I'm gonna add the route for settings. Okay, settings. And I'm gonna use component called settings. because that's, that's kind of useful. I need to create it. As I said, settings is a page. So I'm gonna start with ion page. And inside ion page, I'm going to add just settings for starters. You know, this is going to just prove the concept. Okay, my tab bar is not really doing anything right now. We have two buttons but they don't know how to use the routes. Okay, to do that, I'm gonna add the two properties or attributes, if you will. One is going to be tab, because I wanna name this tab. This, this tab is called bro. And the other one is ref or href, uh, which is the uh, exact path of the subroute. Same thing applies to the uh, button below. Tab is settings, and ref is going to be settings as well. As the view has refreshed, I'm gonna see a, a minor change. I see that brew button is now blue because our tab, brew tab, has been selected. It's in the right path. And if I go to settings, I actually see the settings content. I can see settings content, but my settings is no longer blue. Brew stay blue. And that's because this href is the root, obviously, you know, both of these, I'm gonna say regular expressions are gonna be a positive match because uh, slash starts in both tabs, right? That's the trick. If I change this to brew and I change this route to brew as well, then settings is, is properly highlighted when we are in settings. If I go to brew, uh, we have brew selected properly. So I need to think about this one other case. I'm gonna think about redirect because what if user goes to the root and doesn't get anything, right? So from the root, I want the users to be navigated directly to bro. Okay, so that's really my home route. Redirect, I forgot to add this, comes from React Router. Okay, so with redirect, this is kind of a 302, if you will. We go from root right to bro. So our initial route is going to be our home route, which is bro. And you know what? This is it. If you follow this example uh, by looking at it or, or by typing with me, you now are able to add routing tabs, navigation, and I think now you're capable of building a fully featured React and Ionic application. I think you have everything you need. The documentation for Ionic is, is very comprehensive, so take a look. Uh, there is documentation just specific to React, and you're gonna, you, know, you can learn how to use components and all the special properties or attributes that they come with. You know, come back, revisit this video, leave some comments, you know, let's start the discussion, see how it goes for you, and let us know if you need any help or have any questions. Thank you so much for sticking with me, and good luck with Ionic and React. And before you go, we have a phenomenal video on how we use Ionic React together with serverless functions for full stack development. Take a look, take a look at our other videos, 
and make sure you like and subscribe.